Okay, you're welcome. So we're joined by New Mexico. Yeah, <laughs> we're joined by New Mexico State head coach Marvin Menzies and student athletes Chalizi Napawe, Daniel Mullings, and Remy Berry. Coach, can I'm you start with an opening I'm statement? I'm just impressed with your pronunciation of Chalizi. I just that was almost as uh, exciting as the uh, game. Thank you, Hope. Uh, <coughs> Hope Shula, ladies and gentlemen, should be here for one more act after we're gone. Okay, where do we start? Where do we begin? Huh. Hmm. Well, let me just say these three guys here are all fifth-year guys for different reasons, uh, injuries and um, conscious decision to say I'm going to sit out my first year so I can develop and stuff. So at the end of the day, it's a paradigm that we've used at New Mexico State to matriculate the student athletes through the program and, and hopefully consistently have some, some uh, gifted, uh, experienced guys in the program. So. It's good to see when you have a plan come to fruition and, uh, like this. And, and as I'm looking at these guys here, I'm just very, very excited for them. Uh, you know, I'm good. I'm going to be good. Uh, my life is I'm extremely blessed with my family and, and uh, my association with my alignment from my athletic director to my president and my university and the community. So I'm, I'm really good. But my focus every day is making sure my student athletes go on to have great lives and uh, on and off the court. And so. So this journey that we've been on with these guys has been fantastic, and uh, I'm going to hate to see them go, but it's just like I told Chili the other day, I said, we'll probably be able to talk about some different things and be, have different kind of relationship go forward, but the, the relationships don't stop when they graduate or when they're done playing basketball in New Mexico State, because they're all going to be Aggies for life. So uh, first, let me begin on the basketball note just by saying how um, proud I am of, of what Cameron's getting done over at Seattle. I think it's, uh, you know, for them to make it to the finals, um, and it wasn't that many years ago, it was a Division Two, and as they um, transitioned to Division One, they went through their period and so on and so forth, and now they're building the program, and he's got some talented kids and doing some, some good things over there. Um, had a little bit of a head start on him, so uh, we're still ahead of the game. Hopefully we stay on top, but I, I do want to say that the way they fought and the way they played yesterday to get to this final was, was amazing. I mean, we thought we were going to have uh, our hands full, and um, I think they hit the wall a little bit. I thought we played well. I thought we had our legs, obviously, but but I do think they hit the wall a little bit. But it was, you know, not to take any away from my guys too, because we were amazing on defense. I thought tonight. So, well with that out, very well prepared. But I'll I'll uh, I'll open it up for questions at this point. Mark Rudy from Las Cruces Sun News. Uh, Marvin, last night you said, um, and you said all season two, you guys are going to go as far as these seniors take you. Uh, you said really haven't seen your best, too. You haven't been clicking on all cylinders. Uh, with you know the way that these three guys play tonight, is that the uh, type of performance you guys are looking for uh, from those seniors? And you guys, you know, feel like you're starting to click now at the right time of year heading in the NCAA tournament? Well, you know, I think we're getting there. You know, Chile goes for a double double. Um, Remy has 21 points. Daniel's got seven assists. Uh, you know, when Daniel can score eight points and we can win by 20, that's a pretty good night. <laughs> you know, so I was watching, uh, I think the kid's from, uh, uh, I forget his name, um, Portis or something like that. Where's he from, Alabama? I don't know. I was watching one of the games earlier today, and their best player uh, was Arkansas, I think. And their best player was, was very limited offensively tonight, and they won by 20. That's a team, you know, and that was my thought as I watched them earlier today. And I, and I look at uh, Daniel, who I think is, you know, one of the best players to ever come through and wear crimson uh, as an Aggie. And for him to only have eight points and us for win by 20, that's, that's, that's special. And so it, to, to, to answer your question, Mark, the, the long route, which I've already done, <laughs> but is to basically say, yes, I still feel like we have more to show. And, um, you know, we've just got to be ready for whether it's Thursday or Friday, and who we're playing. Marvin, what was the importance of your defense, your ability to pressure them, and then um, the, your rebounding as well? I think they had one offensive rebound in the first half, and I don't think they had any uh, second chance points. Well, we talked about rebounding as an emphasis. We talked about our deflections as an emphasis. Uh, we better ask these guys a question quick to keep them entertained. but. Um, we, we, we had some, some bullet points defensively that we needed to, to reach, some benchmarks. And, and one of those was obviously limiting their three-point attempts. I mean, Umbapeg shot, shot uh, how, many, how many threes did he have yesterday? 
Uh, I mean, you made seven? Nine, nine for nine for seventeen, nine, nine for sixteen, nine something like that. Good. Yesterday, or um, what was he? Eight, eight for what? Seven. Seventeen. Eight for seventeen yesterday. Yeah. So seventeen attempts from the three. Shoot. That's the way that they can beat us. Seattle, if Seattle's making threes, they can beat you. They can beat anybody on any given night if they're making threes. So that was a heavy emphasis for us. And uh, we had our guards engaged and the forwards engaged, and even Chili back as the anchor communicating and passing him off, and Flora as well. So I think that was a that was a critical defensive component for us. Mark Rudy, Las Cruces Sun News. <laughs> uh, Daniel, um, you know, for this senior class, uh, I know for you personally too, four NCAA tournament appearances, um, now four WAC tournament titles. You guys capped it off this year with a regular season. Uh, what's that say about this class too, to, to accomplish what you guys have accomplished here and this year as well? Um, that just shows that, you know, we've been through it all and uh, we battled through adversity and um, we've been successful. Came together each and every year, uh, picked up some things that we need to work on and um, you know we just move forward as a collective unit. Uh, Chili, I know you said yesterday too uh, the second team whack kind of you know fueled you and, and you know had another solid game tonight. Um, you know what's you getting the tournament MVP uh, you know, what's that meant to you, especially, you know, being hurt at the beginning of the year, too, and really playing your best basketball in conference play? Um, I mean, it, it means a lot, you know. Like, you know, for me to be able to come back from, you know, foot injury and then, you know, kind of, you know, you know, get my way in, in, you know, back into shape. And, you know, I'm glad, I'm just glad I'm playing good basketball right now because this is the most important, you know, this is the most important part of the year. That, And I'm just, you know, I'm just happy and I feel blessed. And I just just a blessing and hard work and I just want to thank my teammates you know they I mean Malls, Remy you know they and DK and they always you know make sure that I, you know I'm up you know every every day you know because you know I mean sometimes I get down on myself when you know stuff is not going my way and you know I just want to you know thank them you know for just always being there for me and picking me up you're welcome we love you too. <laughs> we love you <laughs> I ain't picking him up. <laughs> uh, Remy, I know, um, you know, your outside shooting ability at that three position really has been critical for this team, uh, especially during the time when Daniel and Chile were out. You got going again tonight. Um, what was working really well for you to, you know, help this team uh, get another whack title? Um, you know, I shot the ball well tonight because I'm a teammate. They was driving. Uh, they was kicking the ball out for me. Uh, it was like a team effort, you know. Um, I just want to say thanks to my teammates. Without them, I wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be here. Uh, thanks to my coaches, too. Coach Mar, I love you. Love you, too, man. Uh, I love my parents. <laughs> international. And, uh, I'm proud of everybody. I'm form up here now. <laughs> Nothing but love and, and trying to understand what we're saying. Uh, <laughs> and we're ready for the next, um, the next step. We're not done. It's not over yet. We're not done. So. Anyone else? Okay, thank you guys.